everyone. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day so far. Hey everyone tuning in. Uh, I hope you are having a beautiful day. Uh, I'm feeling the sun rays down on my skin right now. Hey Huma, beautiful to see you guys. Beautiful to see you all. Um, essentially, I'm coming to you live today to share about the importance of really being comfortable in your own skin and what that can really bring you because what I have noticed, what I have experienced, what I have witnessed in the people in my lives, in my own life, is that what we believe about ourselves is what we are able to create. If we don't believe that we can have the life we desire, if we don't believe that we're worthy of the dreams we have, then we cannot create them. You want to know what we, what we will be creating from? We'll be creating from our fears. We'll be creating from that voice inside of ourselves that says, we aren't safe to be us. We aren't safe. Or we're not worth it. If we don't make the time and space to really listen to those voices within us that might be holding us back, that's what we're going to be subconsciously creating our lives from. We're going to be creating our lives from that voice that says we're not good enough. So what do you think is going to show up in our lives? Things and opportunities that also believe that we're not good enough. It matches. Our belief literally is the seed that plants the, the tree that grows, which is our life. So if we're planting a seed that says we're not good enough, that's what's going to show up in our lives. So what I have learned is that it's important that we come into contact with our own worth. And that happens by becoming comfortable in the skin that we are in. By embracing ourselves, shadows and light. Things that we think are ugly, things that we think are unlovable, and the things that we know are amazing about ourselves. All parts. Once we embrace all of those parts of ourselves, we're able to create from a place of wholeness. Because we're like, yeah. I'm worth it even if I even if I'm flawed even if I'm imperfect I am worth love I am worth having support I am worth being accepted I am worth being taken care of I am worth being honored all of those things and it's and it's I was gonna say it's funny it's not even funny because like we don't even realize that it's playing don't even realize that like man my my negative perception of myself is is actually what's creating everything that's happening in my life so if you are tired of living from that place of let's face it let's say let's say it up front here self-sabotage you know if you're ready to to end living from that place and to stop holding yourself back holding in what you truly believe, holding in what you truly know. Like who here in this conversation right now tuning in, who here, um, who here has trouble with worrying about how others are perceiving us? Who here is worried that you won't be socially accepted if you actually let out how you feel? Who here thinks that if you actually, you know, speak up, if you actually show up, those who are actually in power will bring you down. They'll stop showing up for you. They'll stop helping you. And since you're powerless, right, you need their help. Who here believes that? That happens, yeah. I see you guys here. Yeah, worried about social situations. Yeah, Golden Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we don't even realize that, man, I'm holding myself back. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm just staying back where it's safe. I'm not really showing myself just in case, just in case someone says it's not good enough. Well, guess what? The only one who can think that you're good enough is yourself. And once you start believing that, once you become comfortable in your own skin, once you co-sign yourself, once you say, yeah, I'm enough, yeah, I'm worthy, everyone else starts to follow suit. They start to meet you and treat you how you treat yourself. 
And let's talk about the other person too. Let's talk about this other perspective that I know happens sometimes as well. How about the woman who feels that she has to hold it all together? That you gotta stay strong. You gotta hold the house together, otherwise it will collapse. If you don't show up, if you don't suppress your feelings and emotions to be that pillar of strength for everyone else, then the whole world's gonna go up in flames. No one's gonna be okay. So instead, you sacrificed yourself to hold the house together. And where does that leave you? Alone? Unsupported? Deprived? Depleted? You know? I've been in this place, you know, feeling like you have to keep on like this armor of like strength, like saying that like, yeah, nothing hurts me, nothing, nothing penetrates this wall like I'm Fort Knox. But inside, there's this like part of you that's like really yearning and, and really wanting, really wanting to be seen in your softness, in your vulnerability, who really wants others to actually show up and support you too just as you have been supporting everyone else at your own expense someone just asked me now in the comments if i'm reading from a speech that is a huge compliment thank you i'm not reading from a speech from a speech i'm reading from my heart i'm showing you guys my heart because these words are coming from within me i've experienced them i've seen them in the women i've helped and supported and I'm sharing this with you guys today. Because guess what, we're at the end of a decade. We're ending a decade and we're starting a new one. And this is an opportunity for us to recreate our lives. This is an opportunity for us to feel what's in our heart, to start expressing that, so that our lives can start showing up for us. And it takes being able to show up for yourself. And that can be easier said than done. It takes being with yourself. It takes getting to know yourself. It takes being comfortable in your own skin. And honestly, it's been the most gratifying and, and joyful experiences for me to get to know myself, to get to know who I am. Because when I get to know who I am, I feel my own confidence and I'm able to show up as who I am in every step I take. So if you're ready to experience this part in yourself, I have a course designed to, desi designed to bring you into your own body, into your own skin so that you can be comfortable, so that you can feel confident, so that you can show your vulnerabilities, so you can show all parts of your emotions, so that you can start becoming a magnet and attracting the love and the opportunities that you truly need and desire to come into your life. So you can stop, shape, so you can stop chasing so you can stop pretending, you can stop waiting on the sidelines, hoping and praying for things to happen. And so you can start actually sitting in your own seat, your own throne, being you, and having things show up in your life that support you. Because you're first supporting yourself by being yourself. So if you're ready to start this journey, there's two days left for you to join the Electric Woman course. I have the link if you're watching on Instagram, it's in my bio. If you're watching on Facebook, I have the links below. You can start today. The journey is waiting for you. It's just about you deciding to get out of your own way, deciding to stop overthinking and overanalyzing and start listening to yourself and to start listening to your own heart. Because there'll always be a reason why we can't do something. You might say, oh, I don't have time, I'm too stressed. Well, guess what? Becoming more confident with yourself, becoming more comfortable being with yourself is actually the remedy to stress. It's actually the antidote. It's actually the way to unwind. So this program is going to help you with that feeling of feeling overwhelmed or, or overly stressed. Because there always will be something else. There always will be something else you could be doing with your time. But what better way to spend your time than with yourself? What better way to spend your time than with yourself? 
And the great thing about this course is that you will have unlimited access, lifetime access. So whether you do it all today in one day, which I doubt you could, <laughs> or if you decide to spread it out over a period of time, you have a lifetime to digest this course. There's no rush, but the doors do close in two days. So if you want to start this course either today, tomorrow, next week, next month, sign up today so that you have access to this. Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait till later next year to get your hands on this course again. And also, you might also think, man, I don't have the money. I don't have the money to do this right now. Well, this is gonna help you attract money and opportunities into your life. Because when you're living as yourself and when you're sharing your gifts, you're sharing what the world actually wants to receive. So people will pay you for what you have to offer. But you have to first be confident enough to offer it. So this is gonna help you attract money into your life by being yourself, not for the money, but for yourself. Yeah? And to support you in this even further, I'm starting an extended payment plan. So you can get this course for six monthly payments of $166, $166 six times. That is a steal. And I'm doing this because I want this course to be accessible to any woman who feels the call. So if you feel the call, don't let money be the reason why you don't start showing up for yourself. Because if you, if you stop now, if you stop and if you listen to your fears, that is going to be what creates your life. Your fear is going to be what creates everything in your life. So if you're ready to stop listening to those fears and start listening to your heart, to find the courage within yourself to be yourself, then I invite you to join the Electric Woman course today. It's time to embrace yourself, to express yourself, and to be yourself. All right, divas. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a DM message me but if not I hope to see you guys inside of this course it's a collection of my life's work and I stand by this course I do it myself in the mornings it helps me you know I have conversations with women and I share bits and pieces about what I've learned through this course and what I share in this course and they too feel the benefits the women I've worked with they've started their own companies for the first time they've called in job opportunities that they never once thought they could have ones that actually fulfill them, that inspire them. They've also been able to feel less anxiety, less depression. They felt their own happiness. They've experienced that they can be the source of their own happiness. They've experienced how they've been empowered with being able to be in a place where they feel completely lost and actually find their own way to themselves within that chaos to feel their own peace. Imagine what it would feel like to be first in a situation where you think that there's no way out, there's no good place for you, there's no upside to this, to feel like you're lost in a turmoil of distress and then be able to see the, the way out, to be able to find your way out. Imagine what that would feel like to be empowered with those tools. That's what I'm going to be gifting you in this program. To be empowered in your own life. And that's worth a lifetime. That's a lifetime of value. That's going to follow you forever. That's going to help and support you forever. So if you're ready to activate your own power. Hi, Faith. I felt your energy as you came in. I wanted to say hi to you. So if you're ready to activate this place within yourself, then I invite you to join me in Electrical Moon Course. I'm doing great, Faith. I hope you're doing well as well. I'm actually going to be heading out to an ecstatic dance to move my body. So I will see you guys there. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Does anyone have any questions for me now live about the course? If it's there, I will see it. If I don't see it, DM it to me and I will respond that way. Alright guys, sending you all so, so, so much love.